So it turns out that we don't need this after all. What are you talking about, DJ? Well, in the last one, we placed out some greenhouses, and with those, we needed water. Which is why I got the liquid tanker from Omatana's Tortoise Pack. However, the same day I recorded that, this mod came out. The automatic water for animals and greenhouses has one billion liters of water, and I'll never have to do it again. So we're gonna use this instead. Ended up having to level the ground, so we had to delete those. We've also got, like, this dude right here. Yeah, I'm not really sure I'm gonna use this. It, it takes manure, and this is not gonna be an automated system. I am still gonna use the special one that was released with Ravenport, though. So this one right here, it's just right beside it. Costs $10,000. It doesn't hold all, like, the fun stuff that the Greenhouse Fruits one does. However, still does everything. Since I'm never going to be using the output of them and everything's always going to be going to be sold directly, I wonder if we can just place these right beside each other like this. Yeah, man, look at that. That will work for me. All right, all right, all right. Except this area over here. Uh, we'll figure that one out. Let's head into each one. Well, you know, let's just hit the pause button. We'll go in here and we'll set all of these to selling. Uh, we're gonna have to do that to every single one, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oy. Now we just simply place down the uh, water bit right here. I think I'm just gonna place it like right, like here-ish. This 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 feels good. This feels good right there. Yeah. Now hypothetically, all of our greenhouses here should be sharing that water together. And they are perfect. Oh, yeah. Now all we got to do is activate literally everything. And this should give us some uh, helpful money, at least during the winter months. And I guess that means we don't need this thing anymore. Goodbye. Now that we're all parked up, we need to start thinking about maybe something to help out our combine harvester. But more specifically, we need to start thinking about grass. Because as far as I can tell, looking at bell wrappers that we've got, none of these will wrap baby bales. And the only baler we have is the baby baler. So I'm not quite sure that's going to work out for us as far as trying to do some silage. Well, unfortunately, nothing in our used category is showing up. So I think we're going to have to maybe wait a few months get through the winter time and see what we can get invested in then. Well, I want to do some experiments. Sometimes you got to do that while you're recording. And uh, turns out a, uh, a, a a bundle of 14 baby bales can't be wrapped. All right, well, plan C, I guess. So unfortunately, there's really nothing for us here. So nothing to go for, nothing to buy, no extra stuff. So we're gonna have to buy brand new. Now there's a lot of options to choose from, which is very, very nice. I don't have everything installed, but we have a lot of stuff installed. I kind of like this. However, I don't like the four meter working width. It's a big field that's, well, I don't want to wait forever. We also have our Vermeer stuff, but it kind of has a weird angle to it. Not the biggest fan of it. One set of mowers that I do keep coming back to though, is this set right here, the uh, FHM. <clears throat> MB2 and 7. It's a 7 meter and 2 meter front, but they're, they're just mowers, man. You paint them, I uh, should probably make modded versions of these with all the colors of the rainbow, but they, they work. They're just, you know, little knives and go through, cut. <laughs> Do the same thing as this, but like way cheaper. There you go. There's a couple of mowers. Perfect. Now we need a windrow. Now this style right here is definitely my favorite overall. It just makes things super, super easy. This is fairly new-ish. Came out around the same time as Farming Simulator 23. Uh, and it was added to Farm Zoom 22 at the same time. Now we do have a bunch of other things, DLC items. We have the bit here for Vermeer, which doesn't turn well. So that, that's out. It's also this guy, which I love this bit specifically. It says Kubota on it. It's pretty, pretty cool with the ultimate Moe bailing pack. And of course we've got some super duper, super duper modded stuff. How's about we keep it easy with like a Krohn Swadro 900? Nine meter working with should be perfectly fine. And I've changed the colors a little bit to Keep it not so normal. Next to last is a baler, and it's so easy to keep coming back to this one, but it's so easy because it's just an epic mod that is like perfect for everything that you need. And I and I love it. So let's get ourselves one of these. Let's go with like a light tan color for that. That'll work. Why does this keep changing? It's DJ Go Ham. We also need a bell wrapper to go with this. The problem is 
I like making the biggest bills to or possible, and you can't wrap those. So we would have to find something that will wrap a smaller bale for us. And so here is our bed. I decided to go with this as our bale wrapper. It's, I didn't want to, but it is what it is. So we've got that. We've got a grown uh, baler. We've got mowers, which are not grown, but I probably should have gone with chrome. Uh, anyway, I, I think it's time to get to work because this field's ready to go. One thing I will say about these mowers before we get started, uh, they are going to be quite difficult with a, uh, with, a, with a tractor set up like this one. The thing about these guys, well, this tractor doesn't have the greatest turning radius. So I think you can get what I'm getting at. And this is what I love about these mowers specifically. I think it's been like a year since I've used these. They're so easy, they're so small, they're super easy to bump into and break as well. Forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah, they're just little mowers, man. They're pretty cool. We'll see, we'll drop them down, drop that one down. There we go. And we'll get about right here and turn them on. Turn on the rear mower, turn on the front mower. Rock and roll. <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah, man. So easy. I love that. You can hire these on a worker as well, I believe. Turn on the help window. Hire worker, yeah. So you can hire a worker if you want to with these. You don't you don't have to if you don't want to. Just a mowing. Just a mowing, man. I love this so much. Uh, we will probably do the mowing the way that I normally do. So one time around, I'll just drive around the entire field. Then we'll come back around and hit all the little spots I missed, and then we'll square off the corners on the second pass, and then hire them on a worker and should be good to go from there. This spot up through here was what I was really worried about the most, but the, <laughs> the tractor seems to be handling that just fine. Now the baler, that's gonna be a different story altogether. Oh, speaking of baler, because now we've got a big square baler, we don't need our little baby baler anymore. I know you guys like that baby baler. I do too, don't worry, but um, we're progressing. Is that? Yo, pup dog. What up, little dude? You gotta get out of the field, bruh. Now that we made it to the other end of the field, basically what I'll end up doing is coming through and kind of hitting like I would be one spot over, kind of like this. You can see the back end, but the reason for that is because the other end will be able to hit anything that I've missed previously. So that's why I do that, especially on these corners, like right up here. You see either the front or the side will hit this spot. So all I gotta do is follow along with the right. And there you go, just like so. Well, we got our three passes done, but you know what? I may end up just doing all this myself. I love using these mowers. But you, you guys know I like to mow anyway. So it is what it is. Let's go and hit the rest of this field. All right, step one is done. Get him on. Step two is now to windrow all of the grass together. And we do have to make sure that we don't miss anything make sure we get everything uh, i think what i'll end up doing is maybe two passes around doing it this way and then we will uh we'll just kind of go back and forth may end up even bailing up these two rows at the end before doing that uh i do that generally it just i don't know it makes things easy well i tried to get through but unfortunately that didn't happen so let's do this let's go and unfold and we're gonna set this to i think a 240 yeah the baler wrapper that we have will do 240 right double check everything make sure it's good where where is it bell wrappers yeah the 240 in there somewhere we will need to be careful though because this baler requires a bit of power and unfortunately our tractor doesn't quite have the power to do it it's it's got some but not all of it it's it's quite difficult you know i've been wanting to upgrade one of these anyway let's take it let's do it uh, so we're going from 170 to 261 horsepower oh yes oh yeah maybe we'll give it uh will weights nah let's no weights let's just keep it on standard tires there we go boom Forty-five thousand extra dollars Oy. but Will it make this easier? Oh, so much easier. Let's go. This is as far as we got earlier, so I'm gonna jump back into here. There we go. Hired up, well, maybe not hired up on a worker, not yet. Put it here, there we go, got it. Now, hire. We've run our two passes. 
Let's see if this will work. Will it work? Absolutely. Am I gonna do it? No, because this is gonna take forever if I use a worker. And just like that, we are done. Nice. Man, that looks good. Woo. You know what? I still know I'm cheating, but I don't normally windrow, so. Uh, there's me almost not cheating. Yeah. Now we gotta go back through and finish bailing. Bales are out and we are good. How many did we make? 30. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a lot of silage. Now the fun part, we get to wrap them all. And I'm really, really hoping that this bale wrapper can actually wrap these. I guess we'll find out momentarily, won't we? Let's go at it full speed. Yeah, let's go. I honestly can't tell you the last time that I wrapped bales in Farms of 22. I mean, normally uh, we'll wrap them in like a all-in-one. I mean, let's be fair. We all use the quick bale, right? But yeah, this isn't bad. I like this. Bales are done. All 30 wrapped. So it does look like our bale loader will hold uh the our bales but i don't know how many it will hold this is this is going to be quite interesting to see how many of these bales it'll hold i i'm thinking like i don't know 10 maybe maybe a little bit more i like this trailer but yeah i'm not quite sure that this is going to be the best thing for the job baby bells it works great but, uh, but i'm not quite sure about these so let's find out bells not supported all right wait hang on a minute i looked at it is that 100 oh 160 160 oh those are the larger baby bells yeah all right um well i guess we could either get rid of this but and we'd also need to get rid of our baby baler or uh just get it out of the trailer in general i like having the baby baler and we're not hurting for money right now so i say we save the trailer save the baby baler which is in there and we get another trailer all right well i've spent another 30 well thirty five thousand dollars on a bell auto loader now this is from parents pack i love this auto loader it's been around may have been one of the very first ones for farm sim 22 love it works great did i mention i love it i should probably have mentioned i love it more it's it's just such a nice trailer plus it holds 32 we have 30 so that works really well for me because we still need to wait a little while for these to ferment i think about a day in game something like that because we're not using anything crazy modified uh we will have to wait for these to do that so we can't sell them now but we could probably sell them as in march and yeah, we could probably sell them in april i'm not quite sure where to put them but i think i'm just gonna overload them right here there's nothing else that's over here so let's do that I'll bring it down bring it right there and bam just like so let's see we'll double check these real quick uh grass fermenting zero percent works for me next to last let's finish it up with a little bit of fertilizer on the field and then i think we'll be about good for at least day in game we do need some fertilizer so i'll come over here to the multi-fruit buying station there we go five thousand dollars for about five thousand liters of fertilizer <laughs> figured uh i think i cheated in seed and fertilizer for the first part of the series so hey uh, you know Better, better late than never. And just like that, we are done here. Very, very cool. We're probably not far off from being able to be ready for harvest on the big wheat field. So be ready for that. We've also got our silo there. I don't, I still don't think we'll ever use it, but I have it. And we've got equipment kind of everywhere now, but we're back in full swing. We are back ready to rock and roll. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have to find somewhere to put all of this. And it would be really cool to find another tractor. But I think uh, we'll do our best to keep this equipment, at least through the first 10 episodes. Ah, we'll try our best. All right, we'll see you.